Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the fighting fire with fire contract. And as you can tell we have all five, I mean technically there's six if you count the 65368, but the, all the trucks that can have the small truck beds basically. Alright so the first thing we got to do is visit this point in the Institute warehouse. So here it is on the map. This is as soon as you come in from the gateway from the crossroads here. You just take a right and this is the Institute Warehouse. The little blue square is right there. I'm assuming this is going to spawn in five cargo containers. And it looks like yes, that is what happened. And we have five trucks. And we need to, and we need to deliver this to five different spots. So what we're going to do is just take one with each truck. And that's sort of the reason why we brought five of them. I'm going to give uh, some props to Ghost, who sort of gave me the idea. He uh, said something about a small truck fleet, and I was like, you know, there's one task where we do need five trucks, and we do have a couple of small ones. We could, we could make a video out of that. And I still have some of these trucks customized from other videos that I made, um, namely the tire size one. I took off some of the customizations. The reason I took off the customizations was just because I had it on for basically the, all of the last couple of them. So I needed it on for the fuel capacities for all the trucks because most of the roof racks have fuel. I had it, I had it on for the um, repair point capacity. Oh no. Wrong one. I had it on for the repair point capacity or repair parts. No, there. Because that is mo mainly in the roof rack as well. And then we also had it on for the spare tires because that is mainly there. So once I had the opportunity to take it off and sort of make the vehicles look at least a little bit different, I did that with pretty much all of the trucks to be honest. And this bandit has just been here for a while. So I'm just going to make use of it and bring all four of these up to the front and drop them off on each truck at once. But yeah, I forgot to put the roof rack back on the F750 and... What was it? The Acteon? I think it was the Acteon. And so, uh... We'll go do that. This is probably super unstable. Why did I say we'll go do that? We're not going to do that. What I meant to say was we'll we'll be using those ones for the shorter uh, routes. Shorter, closer areas, whatever you want to call it. I could just throw them all on this trailer and drag that out there, but I don't want to do that. So let's drop these off in each of these four, and then we'll figure out what's going where. So we'll start off going this way, I guess, because it's the closest. Whoa, that was not where I wanted that to go. Okay, we got one down. Let's grab the next one, see if we can swing it out to the 805 out here. There we go. That one looks like it was ready to tip. All right, let's grab this one and go the other way. I'm not sure if I'll be able to reach that front one, the the Warthog. That looks like it might be a little far. Might have to move the truck, we'll see. Oh no, we're good. My truck's about to tip, but we're good. Nope. We are not good. <laughs> I thought we would be able to make it in there just in time before it would tip, but oops, oh, whatever. I do have quite a bit of damage on these trucks, so maybe I'll refuel and repair these before we take off. You know, whatever, I'm just going to start driving off to these points, but... Okay, so here is one of the points we have to go to, Southeastern Swamp. We also got to go to Island Chain, Spill Site, River Crossing, and Central Swamp. Alright, so I just set it back today. We are going to start off with the Tatra 805.
I know we have a few trucks up in front of us here. We got the, uh, we got Kirovitz K7M up there, you can see. We got this bridge which we created. Oh, I can't even drive this thing straight whatsoever. We got the uh, Kirovitz K7M. This is here because I was trying to use it to uh, to latch on to oh, for this end part of the Swamp Racer uh, contest. I actually never even used it. I parked it there and then I just never tried it again. I tried to complete the Swamp Racer one with the Kirovitz K7M and it's just too slow on this end part where it's it's sort of a, a straightaway, I, don't know, I guess not straight, but it's not too swampy. So most trucks would be able to get some more speed, but since it's a tractor, it just can't really get up to speed all that great. And so it's, it's just a, a little too slow, top speed wise. In the swamp, obviously it does great. It's just when it gets to the open part, it can't, it can't make up enough time in the swamp to, uh, for it to be able to get a gold on the slow part. I don't think it's possible. It might be. But every time I've done it, it's been probably 15 to 20 seconds too slow. If it was like seven or something, maybe, I, I would say maybe you could cut off some seconds, but 15, I just, I think it's gonna be too slow no matter how you do it. There we got our tire up there. And I do have a Zixi 605R just up in front of us here. And then we have a Kirovitz K7M with dual tires. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I think we have uh, the Ford CLT or CTL. I get that one mixed up as well. Uh, the 9000 out here, but I did move it over to the start of the Swamp Racer. Whoa. To the start of the Swamp Racer. Look at that to the start of the Swamp Racer contest. I'm trying to think of the name of it. I don't know how far this is going to get us. This is uh, one of the trucks with the smallest tires in the game. This, this truck's max tire size is 37. But I think we should be okay. It looks like we've got a tree here. we got a stump up to our left. And it looks like some other tree roots might be able to be latched onto. Let's... Oops, nuts. Tried to attach a winch further back on the truck and that didn't work. Okay, we're going to try and slow it down here. What? Oh, okay. I mean, it's pulling us towards some more solid ground, so I'll take it. I have let off the uh, the gas a little bit. So we should be... Yeah. Should be going a little bit... Uh, a little bit slower, a little less tire spin than the max would have been. You guys usually don't notice it if I leave it in neutral or even high. I slow down a lot of the times on the trigger. So it's still in a high gear, but it, it's uh, spinning less than it normally would. So I'll, I'll kick it up here and see if you can hear it. So yeah, I guess you can tell the difference sometimes. All right, one is delivered. I think I'm gonna try to drag two of these closer at once and then I'll drag the other ones both a little closer. So what do we got? The Acteon and Warthog here. These trucks are pretty wobbly with these in them. You can tell both of them are, are swaying a little bit. Yeah, we'll just drive these two up the road and then I'll switch to the other two because one of them's got to go to the left here. So it won't be driving together very long with that second group. That'll be the F750 and what was the last one? The crocodile.
And we, we got... I think we should have plenty of fuel. Because we do have the roof rack with both this truck and the crocodile when that one comes up. And the crocodile really has a lot because it's got that custom bed with some extra fuel. And then it's got more on the roof rack. So, I forgot to put the roof rack back on the Acteon, but... I don't think fuel should be an issue. And actually, we still have the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer way up north somewhere. Not way up north, but sort of on the way there, but not completely on the way. I guess for, for one of the trucks it will be, possibly two. But one of them's going to have to turn off into the swamp once we get up here just a little bit. Sort of by the watchtower up there, you can actually see it. Uh, just before that, off into the swamp. So we'll stop this, we'll have to drive one truck farther, and then we'll uh, switch back to the other two trucks and drive those. This one's probably going to be a little bit longer of a contract, just because basically I have to drive all the way up to these spots, you know, one truck for each time, instead of if I were to drive one truck to this spot, then I'd already be like three maybe halfway there. I was going to say three quarters, but that's a little too, a little bit much. But yeah, you, you already be halfway there, then you only have to drive a little bit to the next one. But yeah, we'll turn off one of these trucks. I think we'll turn off the, um, actually, we'll, we'll turn off the Warthog. We'll keep using the Acteon going further up north, because I think there's one sort of easier one further up north. So I think we'll we'll use this truck for that. Um, that's probably good. We'll turn it off. We'll uh, leave it there. Shoot, I didn't really think about the river crossing, though. I don't know if this will give us any trouble or not. Since we're on the highway, we're, we're not an all-wheel. Hopefully I can get across this easily. Good, okay. I was hoping my tires wouldn't like slip into a crack and then catch on the wood and, you know, do something crazy. All right. I am going to try and get across this. Hopefully it doesn't uh, turn out too bad. Let's put it in all wheel now. Yeah, this is going really well. I'm, I've been trying to make more of an effort to tell you guys to both like and subscribe, so I'm going to do that now while I just thought of it. Uh, trying to do it more at the start of the videos, just before we get into it, you know, but hopefully I get a little better at it. I want the, uh, I want to make it, you know, wait, yeah, we, yeah, no, we'll cross the main bridge, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, I wanted to just say, you know, if you guys want to help support the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd, uh, hit that like button and subscribe, it's going to help me to grow the channel, so I want to get that out of the way, but I'm not very good at it. I. I shouldn't say I'm not very good at it. Well, I am, I am not very good at it. But I want to... I don't want to, like, spam you guys with it. But at the same time, I want to grow and... And I guess a lot of the time, the people who say it at the start of their videos get more likes and subscribes than people who don't say it because you're sort of reminding the audience always to do it. So I'm going to try and do that a little more often. And... Uh, I'm also going to try and promote my, uh, the members and thanks thing a little more often. Not, not that you guys, uh, need to do that, but just, like I said, I wanted to make it available for anybody who does want to do it and just make it known if you didn't know that it is there. So you can say thanks if you feel like you got some information or enjoyment from a video or whatever, you know. Yeah, it's it's just there because I didn't want to I didn't want to not have it if I had the opportunity to have it and if people wanted to donate it, you know, and 
they wouldn't have the opportunity if I didn't turn it on, basically, so... Whoa! I don't think that ever came back down. I think I, uh, I think I went a little bit farther than I wanted, but here's the road. Here's a road. I, I shouldn't say the road, but... I basically just wanted to cross the main bridge instead of having t to, uh, to cross the river again. So that's kind of why I went this route. Um, this looks kind of sketchy in here. But it looks like that's where I gotta go. The road goes off to the left down there. Okay. I... I guess I will sort of go that way. I wasn't planning to go that way. But I... I think this road goes through this riverbed, but if not, I'm gonna try and go through the riverbed. We're getting pretty close on, on fuel. So I might need to get a refuel before I can end up delivering this. We'll see. This does not look nice in here. I'm going to see if I can pop up over it. There we go. I was pretty worried about that because I didn't know how stuck I was going to get on it. The road turns to the right. I guess we'll try this way. I don't I've never gone this this like area. I shouldn't say area. I've been to this area but not this specific like spot. Like this is all unfamiliar territory for me. I think I've gone down this road though. I don't know, maybe I haven't. But we're we're getting really close on fuel here. I probably should have, uh, probably should have definitely, <laughs> that's kind of funny, probably should have definitely, um, probably should have gone the other, uh, the other bridge just because it would have saved me a lot of time. Oh, it's just right here. Okay, that's not too bad. So we got number two out of the way. There we go. All right, now we're here with the Warthog. There's sort of a little path here on the left that I've taken into there before. So we'll, uh, we'll take this down. And I don't think it gets too deep. I, I only went to the left to go get the vehicle for, I think it's the Lost Mailman through here. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try and take it off to the right and it looks like it might be kind of deep out there. With not many trees either, at least not till that middle island. So I might have to kind of watch where I'm going a little bit more than I was hoping. It looks like there's enough trees, but if you're not watching where you're going yet, yeah, it could be an issue, it looks like. No, not backwards. Wow, that... That middle area is really nice. And even this ain't too bad. This is going a lot faster than I was expecting for this part. Man, I couldn't even see that to the last minute. Alright, let's get that dropped off. Two left. Alright, here we go. Let's turn on the F750. I probably didn't really need to do that. Oh well. Uh, we gotta, we gotta turn the F750 off to the left just up here anyways. On basically this road. So, I... We won't be going too far that way. And, yeah, that should be good. Yeah, we're gonna follow this main road down. Basically the same route we did with the Acteon. Until we get to the... The first bridge that I sort of avoided. I guess it's not a bridge. The first crossing, which I avoided, and then we'll go across it with this one because I think it's either just before that crossing or just after. Dude, this thing's flying. It's got eight gears on it, I guess. I didn't notice. I, I must have put that other gearbox in. Oh, God. 
start going a little bit too crazy there. These, the phase eight maps are really fun to have high range or freeway gearboxes. It's just you can go so fast because it's not like most of the game. It's, it's got a lot of flat tar roads. Maybe not flat, but tar roads where you can kind of go wherever. I guess you really can't go wherever, but you can you can get good speed on them. How's that? Oh god! Wow, I'm surprised I was able to get right back over that. All right, we're going to River Crossing, I believe, and the other one. The F750 will go to Island Chain. Taking some random suspension damage all the time. Ooh. Okay, well I guess we're using the F750 and once this one's done, because this one and the Acteon have cranes, we will have to use one of them. The, the bad part is, the this one and the Acteon are the two without roof racks that I forgot. So, this one has got to get it there. And, actually there's a, a cat right here. The CT680 or 681, I don't remember which one, but I can steal fuel from this one on the way there and way back, and that should give me enough to probably make it there and back. I don't really have to worry about the way there, I don't think, but... Um, yeah, we'll just steal it just in case, and then we'll come back basically the same route. I wasn't planning on having to go back and flip it, but I've said this a few times. I know a lot of you guys like the videos, or it gets more views if I do end up flipping a vehicle or just having trouble in a certain spot. Maybe not quite flipping it, but getting very close. So I would say I definitely drive more more reckless than I should be. But it's not it's not like I'm trying to flip it. I'm just not trying as hard to not flip it, if that makes sense. So instead of instead of driving in like sixth gear and when it starts to speed up a little bit too much a lot of the time I'll, I'll back off a little bit but on here if it gets to six sometimes I'll just keep pressing it going to seventh or let off a little bit but not as much as I should so it doesn't downshift stuff like that because I basically I'm a little bit more risky because I'm like whatever if if it flips it's good content if it doesn't flip I mean it's more fun to watch a dude flying down the road going like I don't know, 60 or something, compared to like inching along going 20, so either way, I kind of look at it as a win-win. As I either make it there in one piece, get it done a little faster, or I flip it, and you guys like those a little better anyway, so it's, yeah, sort of a win-win. Alright, here we go. This is a river... No, that's not river crossing. That was island chain. Yeah, I don't know why... I I already said that was Island Chain. I don't know why I thought it was River Crossing, but... Alright, I'm gonna drive back. I'll cut this part out for you guys, so it'll just be a couple of seconds. I'll drive back, I'll refuel, and we'll make it all the way up to the Warthog. Alright, here we are coming up on the Crocodile. I didn't even think about this until my way here. But I could just grab this with the crane and... and leave. More... more damage. Justin likes to make fun of me for that, if anybody didn't know. It sort of goes back to what I was just saying with uh, more interesting content. I'd rather just fly fly into something and uh, possibly flip and take some damage. Because it makes makes things more interesting. If I'm wait, why did I do that? I don't have the cargo yet. Um, yeah, if I just were to drive slow and pick it up and whatever it's it's fine but it's uh it's more fun when you're going fast it makes things more interesting 
because I could flip or I could just get it done faster and it's like I said it's more fun to watch it go faster than to watch it go slow so let's uh, get this packed here we go and let's see if we can make it there by nightfall it might get too dark but it's just over there so we'll have to cross this oh no 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 okay that was close well, all we gotta do is cross this river and then turn immediately left and then it's like in the middle of that crossing or it looks like it might be on the other side but either way it's pretty close so I'm gonna try and do this before it gets too dark but I know it, it always looks a little better when it's much brighter so hopefully you guys don't mind that this is kinda dark Because normally I like to switch it when it gets to like this, this kind of a light. There we go. 45 and 18. Okay, yeah, it's just in the middle of here. That's not too bad. I know I've crossed here a few times. I think this is actually not, yeah, not the best of crossings. Alright, we made it in one piece. There we go. Ecological crisis averted. We got 890 experience and 11,350 for cash. All right, that is gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, stay tuned to the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you wanna watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.